two men are charged with some heinous crimes pretending to be the popo. <laughs> when you look at them, okay, let's talk about it. Ain't nobody, ain't, no, ain't, 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 ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Yes, yes, yes. This is the Otis Who Podcast. I am your host, Otis Who. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, hey, hey. Check this out. That story, we're going to get right into it. But before I get started, if you like the content, if you like me, if you want me to continue giving you this content, please buy your boy a cup of coffee. Just scan the QVR code to my right here. Definitely appreciate it. It'll take you straight to it. Donate a cup of coffee to your boy. With that being said, hey, this story is disturbing. Let's get straight into it. Did they look like police officers to you? First and foremost, again, this story is coming from the voice of the people here in St. Louis. Please go to the Instagram if you would like to read the whole story without my commentary. And please leave a comment and tell them that they came, you came from me, obviously, with my stuttering ass. Let's go. Ren and Stimpy charged after pretending to be the popo. <laughs> Let's get into it. It's funny, but at the same time, it's very troubling. The St. Louis County prosecutors charged 33-year-old Nathaniel A. Gibson and 19-year-old Jaden K. Morton with first-degree robbery, first-degree burglary, first-degree child endangerment, armed criminal action, resisting arrest, and impersonating law enforcement. <laughs> After saying that the I'm not my fault. Lord have mercy. Slow down, Otis. Authorities say that the suspects portray themselves as law enforcement to enter a woman's home in the 1200 block of Yukon Drive. When they got inside, one of one of the men held the, the woman's eight year old son. Wow. And her at gunpoint as they tore through the home of searching for valuables and money. So you grab the eight year old son and held them at gunpoint. Police say the two suspect two suspects were with three others who have yet to be apprehended before entering before entering the home. Martin and Gibson, along with two others, beat on the victim's door, yelling, "This is where they got him right there!" Police and ATF. First of all, not even trying to be funny. Looking through your peephole, your ring cam. Me assuming you have a ring cam, or even if you don't have a peep peephole. I mean, there was, there was no form. There was no way you could look out to see if they were truly, truly for real law enforcement. That the banging of the door, just that noise startle you. It happens. Obviously, it did because we see this is what transpired. But man, we have to be more careful. With that being said, during the robbery, the woman was able, now this, now this is smart, the woman was able to dial 911 to allow the operator to listen in. The dispatcher heard the men asking the woman, where is the money? Where is it? The guys, which I'm glad you're getting caught, and I'm pretty sure you're going to snitch on the other two, three suspects, that the suspects that didn't get caught. You're going to snitch. That's just the way it is. You're not too bright, which I'm glad you're getting caught. You didn't think to check her for phones, which I'm glad you didn't, which was stupid. I'm glad you didn't. But really? Wow. Gibson and Martin were caught doing foot pursuit. Me looking at the pictures, I understand why. Both are being held at the St. Louis County Jail on 500,000 cash bond only. Until... Until they get a court appointed attorney and they get the bond reduced. But the way and how slow this situation happens, uh, it's going to take a, I don't know, who knows? 
they're not going to get the time that they rightfully deserve. And all these charges that they're charged with, it's not going to stick. Sorry to tell you. Mighty glad to let you know all these charges that this gentleman, that these gentlemen are charged with. And let's go over it again. They're charged with first degree robbery. First degree burglary. First degree child endangerment. Armed criminal action. Resisting arrest and impersonating law enforcement. Well, shoot. Majority of those look like they're going to stick. <laughs> I hate to tell you, majority of those look like they're going to stick. Oh, yeah, y'all done. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Y'all done. Yeah. Good. Rightfully so. Man, man, man. This is what the streets of St. Louis, and I'm pretty sure not just St. Louis, I believe we are ranked up there in one of the quote unquote toughest, roughest cities. Um, I don't really get into that, the labels and the titles and things like that. Uh, I really don't believe that. But for some reason, for some reason, we up there. Don't believe we deserve it, but we do have some characters here in St. Louis. But with that being said, if you don't get a peephole drilled through your door, if you can't afford the ring doorbell with the video camera, come on now. They didn't look like cops to me. We got to be more careful. With that being said, if you like the show, please scan the QVR code, buy your boy a cup of coffee, and I'll be back again with some more interesting but serious stories. Until next time. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis.